A controversial SNP policy involving overseas offices will cost Scottish taxpayers £7.1 million a year following a coalition of chaos deal. Under a deal agreed between the SNP and Scottish Greens, two new Scottish government overseas offices in Warsaw and Copenhagen will be opened. These offices aim to promote Scotland's interests in Central Europe and the Nordic countries, which include separation from the UK. But the move has been criticised by the Scottish Tories as a waste of Scottish taxpayers' cash. The draft Butte House Agreement revealed on Friday, says the two new overseas offices could cost taxpayers £1.6 million a year. This is on top of the £5.5 million annual costs of running the SNP-led Scottish government's existing seven international offices, located in Berlin, Washington, Paris, Beijing, Brussels, Dublin and Ottawa. FOI data revealed the running of the Brussels office where Scottish ministers promote interests north of the border to the EU had the highest individual cost of £2.1 million in 2020 21 Stephen Kerr MSP, Scottish Tory Chief Whip, said, the SNP are now stooping so low they want to pretend they're independent, spending an extra £1.6 million with their lapdogs, the Greens. And they are quite willing to let the taxpayer foot the bill. This and the other £5.7 million would be better spent helping schools, our NHS and solving our drink and drug problem. Mr Kerr has previously complained in a letter to Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab about the minister's decision to open the offices. In the letter, the senior Scottish Tory MSP requested that the UK government remind First Minister Nicola Sturgeon of the missions and embassies provided by the UK government. In the letter to Mr Raab, the Central Scotland MSP added, with the Scottish taxpayer in mind, I would greatly appreciate it if you could contact the First Minister to remind her of the missions and embassies provided by the UK government. In response, a Scottish government spokesperson said, we will set out the cost of the new offices in due course. Scotland's international network attracts investment and creates domestic opportunities and benefits for the people of Scotland.